What's going on, Nerd Nation? Welcome back to my channel. And today I've got... Let me just adjust this here. There we go. Today I've got for you the review of Incredibles 2. Now, I got this movie for Christmas, and I remember in a previous video I said... Um, if you want to see the review for it, let me know, but I was probably going to do it anyway. And you wanted to see it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, either way, I would have done it. <clears throat> so, this was actually a really good movie. Um, it picks up right where the first one ends. So, I, I mean right at the moment the movie, the first movie ends. And then it continues from there. Um, but yeah, I really like the movie. Uh, they introduced a bunch of new heroes um, as part of like a contest or something uh, within the movie. And I thought the villain was a cool concept, but kind of pretty obvious um, as to who... who the person behind the mask was in the movie. Uh, the villain in the movie, the name, their name is Screen Slaver, which is actually a pretty cool name and it's a pretty cool concept. They like hypnotize their victims with like flashing, you know, of like a screen. I remember when the movie came out, there was like a a seizure warning, you know, because of people taking seizures, you know, when, whenever they see, like, flashing lights and such. I remember that when the movie came out. Um, really, the movie didn't focus on the entire family as a whole. The movie focused on Elastigirl more than anything. Um you know, like, it kind of reversed the roles from a bit of the first movie where it was Mr. Incredible out in the field doing the superhero work and stuff. And then this movie was Elastigirl uh, out in the field, Mr. Incredible at the house and, you know, taking care of the family and such. Um, but I don't know. It still was a good movie, and I give it, I give it a four and a half out of five, you know? Um, I know this review is going to be pretty short, shorter than my other ones, but there's not really much to say about the movie, um, other than really what I already have. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, yeah, I liked it. I give it a four and a half out of five. Uh, if you saw the movie, drop a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of it and what your rating is on it. Um, but that is it for today. Tomorrow is going to be the Batman 80th an Ow. That hurt. <laughs> uh, 80th anniversary tribute video. Because that's coming up very soon. Uh, Saturday, actually, is the anniversary. Um, and also tomorrow, or tonight, uh, I got Aquaman on DVD. I didn't even know it was out on DVD. So, I got it, and I'm not, obviously, not right now because I'm at work. But I'm watching it at home. Um, so, either tonight or tomorrow... I will review Aquaman. Uh, so, yeah, just stay tuned for that. Make sure you have the notification bell on and ringing so you'll get notified every time I upload. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's build up that subscriber count. We're almost to 60. That's a big deal to me. Um, so, yeah, let's just build that up. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to stay nerdy. See you guys.